God, breakfast is ready. Oh, are you going out? Yeah, I have things to do. Are you... Please don't tell me you're going to be empty again. Okay, I won't tell you. What's wrong with you? Nothing. Oh. What's wrong with you? Hey, I had your back in front of Pa and Ma a few weeks ago, but that was because I trusted you to do the right thing. Now you're just being ridiculous. Leave me alone. I know what I'm doing. I'm a grown man. Hey, where are you going? Oh, Ma, don't ask. Apparently, he's a grown man. Will you stop minding my business? Why are you so rude so early in the morning? Are you working somewhere else? No, Ma. Good. When are you planning to come back to Suatao? Your pa is overseas again. I have to cook, clean, take care of you all. Still have to take care of Suatao. Nobody's expecting you to do anything you don't want to. Why are you talking to me like that? If I ask for Dominic or Benny or the divorce, your sister gets angry. If I ask you about Suatao, you get angry. I better just keep quiet and don't say anything about anything. That works. I you all have no respect. Nobody tells me anything. <sighs> so many renovations going on. People are moving in, we are moving out. <laughs> hey, hey. Your Baba told me he has an early morning meeting at the coffee shop. He must be avoiding the house. <sighs> all that tension with Hafik. And here we are, two women packing, carrying, throwing. <laughs> and the man just left out one corner. Mm -hmm. He said he has viewing. Eh? I can't believe he lied to me just to avoid Baba. They're having cold war and both of us have to suffer? No! Hey, good life, eh? Huh? Sit there while Mama and I do all the work. Hey, you better go back and pack. Both of you have so much rubbish that you brought from the old house and you cannot take to the new one. We have no idea what you want to throw and what you want to keep. Later, don't blame us if we throw away the wrong things. Da, let's go. Too much. Ah, yo, that pain is it? What did you do yesterday? I thought you took afternoon off to spend time with Rose. Ah, oh, actually, I don't want to know. It's not that. I was helping Rose fix her cabinets. I must have pulled something. Huh? Whoa, you know how to fix things, ah? Uh. What do you mean? You look a little spoiled, like mummy's boy kind. Wow, please, huh? Add insult to injury. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I have a loose stable leg and a leaky tab. Can you fix it? Yeah, you know I'm very rough. Evelyn cannot tahan how I bend things. Can you help me to fix? Now can? Told you I can't even get up right now. La. <laughs> I'm just joking oh. with you. You go back and rest. Evelyn can fix everything. <laughs> you think I'll let you come over and capo around my stuff? <laughs> Why are you messing with a man in pain? Hey. Hey. Uh, Alex. Rose. So, so um... Uh, sorry, sorry I, I meddled. I know you meant well. Yeah, still, I shouldn't put my nose where it doesn't belong. Seriously, it's okay. You're my closest friend. If you can't meddle, who can, right? <laughs> True. Yeah. Um, technically, it wasn't me. Harish got me involved. He was concerned about you. Ah, Harish. Again, uh, that name keeps popping up everywhere. Oh, I don't mean to throw him under the bus. What I meant was he has good intentions. He's a keeper, Rose. And uh, you do look happy. I am. <sighs> you think our threat worked? They are finally packing and clearing. Knowing my husband? No. Knowing my husband, also no. Why are you so hungry? Because our husbands are useless. Their fight is making us stress. I can help you to pack, okay? Hey, 
I want them to do it. But by the time they make up, it could be too late. I want to donate all of the unused clothes. Yeah, it will help cheat Maria's NGO. Huh, maybe kita buat butuh je dengan orang. We just clear what we want. They may not even notice that the barang is gone. They cannot. Then they will fight with us and it will become a big family problem. Those two are so irresponsible. Ah, <sighs> dah lah. Let's get back to it. So stubborn. We'll never change. Huh? It's so wonderful that you'll join us for a meal, Brayden. You're so busy studying. He is? When? Daddy, please. I study. Seriously, when? Well, your food and drinks recommendation was spot on. I feel so full. <laughs> I eat here a lot. The nasi lemak is good, but sometimes I wish there's pasta, you know? Why? Because pasta is relaxing. <laughs> what do you mean? Because pasta is spaghetti. Spa. Relaxing. <laughs> Please don't laugh as bad, that joke. You only made him tell us more. Well, at least it's better than mom jokes. What's a mom joke? Tell them, mom. You know you want to. Oh, okay. Brayden, I'm really sorry, but I can't tell you the rumor about peanut butter. Why not? Because you might spread it. <laughs> oh, oh, dear. See? <laughs> Stop being so judgmental. Mm. <laughs> Go get a small way. Mm. Mm. Oh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> You're saving some food for later. Mm? Oh, this is a nice surprise. Well, I came by to pass you this. We left it on the cabinet yesterday. That's where it was. I've been hunting high and low for it. I was almost late for work because I didn't know what time it was. Oh. <laughs> Enjoying the show? Hey, just look at me. They're good together, huh? Yeah. I hope that Rose can finally settle down with a good man, like Haresh. Hmm. Someone will take care of her, treat her the way she deserves. Mm. I hate him. This time, I really know how to siam work one. Least I could do after you uh, fix my defects. Well, I'm happy to swing by anytime and sort of what needs fixing in your life. I mean, the defects in your house, not anything else. <laughs> I read the book. I do need fixing. Oh, mm. that's great. I mean that you read the book. Yeah. Uh, not that you need fixing. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't need fixing, right? I mean, we all do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> relax, dude, relax. He's a kanchong spider. But come to work, it's not like that. I know what you mean. It's okay. Don't panic. Okay. Call me anytime. Happy to be Mr. Fix-It for all your defects and in your life. You know what I mean, right? Um, you know, I just remembered I have to, um, see you. Um, Aiyya, Rose is still the same. He gets closer, her mood changes, and she runs away. So shameful. What's going on? You tell me the truth. Who is the woman daddy in our house? Antio? I thought I told you he's just God's friend. Don't lie. I saw any hot touching your God all over the shop. What? At Crown Coffee Shop some more. Right in front of Brayden. What? You better tell me everything before the whole of Sunday place starts talking about them. I thought God would have more sense than that. Guess I was wrong. You tell me now. <sighs> okay. Antio is God's ex. Wait, what? Where to put my face? I have two children with failed marriages, all in trouble because of your exes. Hey. Hey. You look like you're a million miles away. <sighs> Harish. What happened? I know he likes me and I like him. Okay, everyone knows that. No story, so? 
Well, sometimes I'm at ease with him. And sometimes I'm overcome with fear. Why? You're such a nice guy. Yeah, but he puts me on a pedestal. What if I don't live up to it? What if he thinks I'm someone I'm not? Oh, um, just stop overthinking. Just go and talk to him about it. Otherwise, you're going to ruin it without even addressing what's bothering you. You have nothing to lose, right? Or he could discover my insecurities. <sighs> I don't know what I said that triggered her. I have no idea. Bochu and I were watching. We don't think you said or did anything wrong. And what is it? It's Rose. She's trying to break the cycle. You know her inner demons. It's not easy. She's been through a lot all her life. And she thinks I'm bad for her? <laughs> I'm probably the opposite. She's found someone who's good for her, but you know, her history with men, so she's in unfamiliar territory. I read it in the book, you know, uncomfortable discomfort. All these bad guys she's dated, they echo her father. It feels familiar to her. And you are not one of those guys. So I've got to have patience and give her my trust. Your boy is going to blame me. Confirm. All these years, he said I spoiled Anthony too much. Well, for one spa isn't wrong. I have to fix this. I thought your boy can fix everything. How? I... I will call Pei Ling and let her know what is happening. No, that's a bad idea. She will jump on the first flight back and take Brayden away. Do you want that? Okay. Then... I'm going to ask your call. Why is he throwing away his marriage and his family just like that? Yeah, okay, talk to God. Uh, but just warning you, it's not going to be easy. I tried and he didn't listen to me. So, good luck. Wait, you knew about this and you kept this a secret from me? Um, you don't want to go back and pack? Nanti ah. You know you cannot avoid your father, right? Why do you think I'm here with you and not at home? Maybe you should try making up with him? <sighs> no way. That man is so stubborn. So stuck in his ways. <sighs> I don't even know why the two of you fought. Well, besides being an overbearing know-it-all, He's also really inconsiderate. Oh yeah, inconsiderate. He always eats all the eggs during breakfast. Can. And he hogs the TV. We always have to watch his boring sandiwaras. Actually, I like the sandiwaras. I'm hooked now. Ah, that's because I don't have a life. I'm done with him and his selfishness. So, maybe it's time to make up with Hafiq? <sighs> that boy. I gave him everything. And he has no respect for me. Zero. <sighs> Thank you. Do you know, he puts his shoes on the top rank. That's where I put my shoes. How dare he take my sport, Skanda? Yeah, too much. Too much. Exactly. Uh, but it's a small matter, right? Small matter? It's very big. You know, my bag is not good already. Afik is young, he can bend. Who does he think he is? <sighs> Thanks for coming to meet me. I'm sorry about earlier. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> You're so nice. Always here for me, it's very comforting. I know where this is going. Comforting, like a blanket. This is homely, not romantic. I hear you. Loud and clear. No, no, please listen. Um, it's been so hard for me to open up. I'm trying. You constantly put me on a pedestal and that scares me. I'm not an angel. I have so much to work out, so many issues. And I'll be here to help you through it. But I don't want you to inherit a problem 
someone with cracks. Deep cracks. You mean the world to me, Rogues. I'm not gonna make you do anything you aren't ready for. I'm not selfish to think I'm the only one for you. There are many men out there who can make you happy, so I'm just gonna walk away and... So how? Priya hasn't heard from her dad and Auntie Rose isn't replying to my messages either. I hope that daughter of mine realises what a great catch Harish is. I'd be proud to call him my son-in-law. And I get a handyman on the side to boot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Talk about spinning many steps ahead. Someone has to. By the time we wait for Rose to get her act together, I'll be six feet under. Thanks. The problem is he's spoiled. Everything he wanted, we gave it to him. So now he feels entitled. Am I correct or am I correct? Yeah, you're correct. Then how to mend the relationship if Hafiq won't change? But Hafiq... <sighs> wow! Someone's supposed to be working, but it's empty, eh? Mengumpat pasal I? Hafiq, bro, what's up? Don't bro me. You're just as bad as him. One minute you're on my side, next minute on his. I... So how? I'm waiting for your apology. Can wait long, long. I'm waiting for you to seek for my forgiveness. <laughs> you can wait long, long. See, told you. He's spoiled and entitled. What? You are stubborn and selfish. Iskandar agrees with me. No, he agreed with me. What? Uh... At least you're both talking. That's good, right? I, I brought you together. <laughs> Messaging that woman, is it? Hmm? Don't pretend. I saw you with her. And Geraldine confirmed it. So shameful. My son is a cheater. Please don't overreact. Overreact? Pei Ling will divorce you and take Brayden away. Is that overreacting? Yes. Let me remind you of the rumours circulating about you and Uncle Vincent. There was nothing going on. Exactly. You know how hurtful that was and now you're doing this to me. So you're saying nothing is going on between you two? I'm just saying this is exactly how rumours start. Something innocent blown out of proportion. You swear it's nothing? I swear. Once I finish reading this book, maybe you should read it. Nah, I'm good, thanks. I think you should read it. How did it go? <laughs> I think I'm gonna cry. Please don't. <laughs> Shall I pop some champagne? No, 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 no. <laughs> I have to head back home soon. Stay. There's plenty of things here for you to fix. Mom. No, I really have to go. Prima is so worried. She sent me so many messages that I've not replied to. Oh, she knows. Don't you worry. <laughs> Yo. Stop it. It's creepy. Everything sorted? No more problems, no more fights. We can pack like a normal family. We bought you drinks, you must be very tired. Thanks. What's wrong? Ask your brother. What happened? Ask your son's brother-in-law. What, what did, did you, you do? Nothing. I just tried to patch things up like what you wanted. So it was your, your idea? idea? No. no! I think I want to vomit. Hey, 
Alex. Hi, Rose. Um, I just want to give you some good news. You held hands with Harish all the way back home, and then he kissed. Oh, sorry. He pecked you on the cheek. What the? Harish told me. You met our worst and gossiping aunties so quick to update each other. I'm very happy for you, Rose. I'm very. <sighs> just hope I don't screw this up. And I'll try to be good enough for him. Rose, stop it. Okay, okay. Just enjoy this. Enjoy being with him. That's all you should think about. Thanks, Alex. For always knowing what to say. Anytime. Bye. I told you I applied to get posted here for work. Oh, you went through? Yep. I should. There you are! Aiyah, uh, silly me. I forgot you two would come together. I should ask Geraldine to show you to my office. No, no, no. We, we didn't. Let me introduce. This is Benny, a software engineer. He's been assigned here to help us with our new virtual consultation initiative. And he is also Geraldine's husband. Hi. 